Hey everybody, uh, so today we're going to be talking about uh, character animation. Uh, the character I'm going to be using is a character called Ludwig. Uh, you can download him off the internet. Uh, here is the website. You can just Google Blender Ludwig. Uh, this will be the first one that pops up. And there's your .blend file. And um, I like this character because we've got a pretty good rig. Uh, and having a good rig is a very important thing in doing character animation and how easy it is to do your movements. Uh, this one's got a pretty solid one. You can grab his hips and it'll just bend down uh, because the whole main root is down here. Good thing to have. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this rig is that the hands do not rotate with the arms. They just rotate them separately. Not a, not a hard adjustment to make, but we'll go into that later. So today we're going to be making a walk and run and then a uh, trip and fall. Kind of animation. So first we're going to start with our walk animation. Uh, a good thing you, or something you can do is look up walk cycles on YouTube. You can get images of walk cycles and whatnot. So what I've done is I've taken that image that you just saw and I've posted on the background uh, by hitting N, come down to background image, and you add the image that you saved. Uh, so now when I choose uh, any kind of side view, or front or back view, you'll see that image in the background where I can model my character after it. So first thing I'm going to do is add some sort of surface for him to walk on. Oops, sorry. Well, that sucks. There we go, we're going to find out where his range of movement is. We'll call it about that's his max for what we want to overstretch him. Okay. So now when making character animation, there's a few different things you can do. Uh, one is motion uh, capture, which makes it a whole lot more realistic and uh, you know more natural. The way you do that is um, you capture the movements of someone actually performing the action and then translate that onto your armature. Uh, if you don't have the equipment, it's kind of hard. Uh, another way you can do it is with uh, keyframes in which, you know, uh, the first, let's see, like, so this would be our first keyframe, and then you move ahead to whatever frame you want to do, and then say that's what you want. And so now it'll fill in the rest of the frames and kind of give you this little flipping leg up. So there it is. And so you kind of see the possibilities of what you could do with that. So let's get rid of those two frames. It's not something I really want to mess around with. Anyways, okay. So now with the walk cycle, first thing, see we've got this image in the background we can kind of mimic. So let's go ahead and move the hips down just a little bit. About there. -ish. I'm going to move, start with the, I guess I'll move the head down more. Yeah, that's it. And I'm going to move the foot out. Rotate it up. Stepping. That's it. Alright, so now we can do it. Out here, and I can see I'm kind of just following the images that we have there. Mm -hmm. about right. Now we're gonna move the hands down so we can get these guys going. Rotate them down there. Yeah, kind of get more relaxed look by rotating the thumbs in. Some side of the hand in. And another thing that's good about this lug wig armature is that it has these little fingers that will close his hand for you. Give a little bit more of a relaxed look. Alright. So now get back to move my hands down to the back side where I want them. Okay. Where we were. Okay. So now when you walk, the hands kind of move opposite of the leg. So 
So we'll move uh, first hand up and rotate it a little bit. There we go. And get a hand back. And rotate that a little bit. We'll see what happens. Alright, so here's our first frame. And we're going to kind of do this in four frame intervals. So there's five. Now the next one. Now if you kind of go to the camera view, you can see it's a little bit better. Go ahead and hide this guy for a second. Let's see where it's going. Alright. So. Now what we're going to do is kind of move the hips down a little bit more. Uh, we're going to rotate that foot back. Move it to about there. That we put this thing down a little bit more. There we go. Now the hands. This hand can go back a little bit further. Rotate that a little bit more. This one can go a little forward. Alright. There's our second piece frame. Now we'll move on to the next one. Switch this one. Oops. Go a little bit higher. This is going to be pass by. Stance. Over right there. This one should go there. Yeah, and now the hands are going to be in the middle. the fourth frame forward. Move back slightly. Uh, I'll put it back even more. Alright about that. This one the hips come up even more. Some hips are really it's kind of the cartoony walk is what we're going for here too. See, it's kind of looking a little silly. But, alright. Another four frame. Forward, and then we have the hips back down at the original height, which was here. Make sure that uh, that same height. But I set my marker there, so I know I'm looking at that height. Now we'll get my feet back to where they're supposed to be. More back. Okay. 
There we go. And that's, you know, the main gist of it. Uh, now you just gotta do it to the other side. Um, or you can just mirror the movements from the right side by to the left side, which we'll go over in another tutorial. Uh, so I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna stop the video here so you can kind of, uh, 